own barrel, uh, 47. I've um, been here in Albany 14 years, uh, originally from Victoria. Um, yeah, I sort of um, been pretty, pretty sort of happy up until sort of last 12 months and things sort of slowly went down. Um, yeah, and I sort of found myself moving from place to place with different friends and yeah, sort of now I'm here in the shelter, I was six night here and yeah, I just sort of never thought I'd get to be here. 18 months ago, I lost my job. I was renting a house, everything was going well and since I lost my job, I couldn't afford me uh, rent. Yeah, it just seems to, everything seems to have sort of gone from bad to worse and yeah, sort of without a job now, I sort of can't, yeah, can't get housing and without housing, I can't get a job sort of thing, so it's sort of all, yeah. How does it make you feel, like being Awful. Here? It's very depressing. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's sort of last few days. It's really hit me bad. It's sort of it's sort of like yeah, it's all right while you're asleep, but when you sort of get up in the morning, you sort of wander around just trying to find well anything, any sort of work. Um, yeah, somewhere to stay, different things. Um, yeah, you sort of feel a little bit hopeless at times. Tell me about this place, Shalom House. What, what has it meant for you the last six nights? A lot. I would hate to have thought if it wasn't for this place, where I'd be. It's been quite cold and wet this last week, and without being here, I just really, yeah, I would not think where I could have ended up. Mm. To be honest, it could definitely could happen to anyone. It's just yeah, it's a minor thing could go wrong and you yeah, you'd find yourself without somewhere to say. Uh, yeah, it's just so easy to end up in a situation like this. Yeah, some of some guys have been homeless a lot longer than I have. And uh, yeah, sort of yeah, feel sorry for them. I do worry a fair bit about it being long term. So I these other guys. Yeah. yeah. And tell me about tomorrow. What are you going to do when you wake up? What's your, what's your plan tomorrow? Well, I've actually got three young kids and I'm going to visit them for two hours. And I see them for two hours a month. And I look forward to that month every, or that two hours every month. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that sort of keeps me going as well. Awesome.